Hi, good morning. I am Dr. Albert Chung and welcome to your friendly proctologist. On this channel, we discuss many topics regarding and surrounding your bottom end. Some of these topics may be frightening. They are certainly terrifying and of course, very sensitive topics. And I wanna make this a safe space for you to relate and to learn a thing or two about your body. Today's topic, I wanted to talk to you about a piece of equipment that's frequently prescribed by healthcare professionals, definitely recommended by your family members, and it's something for hemorrhoids, and that's called the sitz bath tub. And this tub is sold everywhere. It's on Amazon, you see the ads pop up on Google when you're looking up hemorrhoids, and it's frequently used for those hemorrhoid flares and many people swear by them. But I am the contrary, am on a mission to get all these sits tubs taken off the market. And in fact, I would prefer if they just never made them at all. I think they are actually counterproductive and we'll, and we'll go into why I think that. So let's hit the computer screen and let's get to some learning. So the first question we need to ask is what is a sitz bath? Well, sitz in German means to sit, S-I-T. And so it's a bath that's really its purpose is to cleanse the bottom end area, the sensitive areas, and also to soothe them. Well, let's take a look at what the Google search comes out with when you put in sitz bath. And for the purposes of today's video, we're gonna focus on a few things. So let's look at this guy, first of all. Here's a zoomed in photo of a bath that they sell on Amazon for $15.99. Well, it looks like a hat put upside down and literally that's what it is. You fill in some water into the tub here and it fits inside your toilet for a nice and convenient way to take a bath you might squirt some water in here or you might soak in there what's another version that's pretty common is this kind right here and this is a sits bathtub that sells for a little bit more why probably because it has this pump type of mechanism here where you can squeeze some of the water and have it spray upwards into your bottom end that's pretty fancy it's got the same type of base that we just saw in the other video, but again, it fits inside your tub and there's this hole that your bottom end would fit into. When you look at this picture, you can see exactly how it would fit into your toilet. You can tell that there is an exact fit on top of the bottom of the toilet bowl and that there is water to be able to bathe your bottom end area. So now we get to the part of explaining why are these sitz bath tubs so bad? I mean, they're reasonably priced and so many people swear by them and they're recommended all the time. Well, let's go back to our anatomy drawing here. And as I told you before, the hemorrhoids, they line the inside of our bottom end, right? The thing is, is that when you have larger hemorrhoids, there is a lot more blood filling the hemorrhoids and they're a lot bigger. So let me just draw them a little bit bigger for the purposes of our diagram. So if we have bigger hemorrhoids here and they're swelling and you just had a bowel movement and they're really upset, what happens to the shape of our hemorrhoids is that they start to droop outwards and they're a lot bigger. So you may have hemorrhoids that look like this, and let me clear things up for you. If this is the size of your hemorrhoids, you can imagine that you feel very swollen, full, and irritated. When you sit in the toilet, this is exactly the shape the hemorrhoids take because of the fact that gravity pulls all the blood down into the hemorrhoid, and the bowel movement also passes by dragging these guys down. So when we sit in our toilet bowl, we can find that, gosh, we feel like things are trying to come from the inside 
and pop towards the outside. And that is why we don't want to sit in the toilet for very long because when we sit longer on the toilet, we get more and more blood filling the hemorrhoids and the hemorrhoids, they just want to keep taking on more blood and growing larger and larger as time goes on. If you're pushing down because you're having a difficult bowel movement, well, that can accelerate the size and growth of the hemorrhoids and make you more likely to have a flare. So now let me explain what happens when you sit on a toilet and why the sits bath tubs are so bad. Well, let's say that my hand here is the level of the toilet seat. So your buttocks would sit directly on this toilet seat, right? But the anus isn't doing the same thing here. The anus actually drops down below the toilet seat when you're having the bowel movement because the muscles are relaxing and so the body parts in the middle come down. After the bowel movement, the muscles start to flex again and then they'll come back up. But you can see why you don't want to spend a lot of time on the toilet because when it's lower down, it's closer to the ground and therefore gravity can make the blood enter the hemorrhoids much more, making the hemorrhoids swollen then making you more likely to injure a hemorrhoid blood vessel and causing a flare. The swelling that's there, of course, like we mentioned, really makes you feel full and irritated. So then what happens when you say, gosh, I feel terrible, I really wanna use a sits bath. Well, a sits bath sits on top of the toilet seat, right? And the thing is, what makes it really bad is the size of the hole. The toilet seat has a much bigger hole and usually it's a lot more comfortable because of the fact that there's a lot of space. The sits bath tub actually is a much smaller opening and so you're actually having things fall into a much smaller and narrower space. That means that all the swollen hemorrhoids in your bottom end tend to get kind of caught in there. and gravity again exerts its force and creates even more swelling and really does not do a good job of calming down flares and making you feel less full. In fact, these devices typically either keep your uh, fullness the same sensation or even make it worse. So I definitely tell people to throw these things away in the garbage, burn them, I don't know whatever you want, but really they're very counterproductive and they do exactly the opposite of what your hemorrhoids want in this type of situation. I'm not saying that sits baths are bad. They definitely are, but I believe that there is a better way to do them, um, which we'll get into in another video. Or just lay down on the bed and level your body out so that gravity does not pull in the lowest part of your body. Instead, it completely evens out, and that way you can feel much better. I'll be making more videos about sits baths, but I really wanted to drive this point home in a separate video because it's simply everywhere you look. Any Google search about hemorrhoids, you'll start to see these tubs, and they are just awful. And I really wish that there was more out there that um, you know, I could do, but hey, this is a start, right? Getting you informed and getting you feeling better is what I see is my job and my purpose. Thank you so much for joining me today in this video. Once again, like, please subscribe and ring the bell. I plan to put out a lot more material regarding our bottom end and I hope you found this uh, video informative and I hope you related today. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.